Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Star Creator Starco Gaming and we are back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, today we're going to take a look at a beta rebuild with Awakening Skill. Thanks to my buddy Juggling. Actually, build is a beta rebuild with Rage and Awakening Skill and yeah, you can see. He's aware of 40,000 crystal men. I wish I could afford that. I wish. But anyway, uh, that is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be testing that out in the World Boss Ultimate Alliance Balog stream. And uh, I think that's pretty much all the content we can actually test them out since it is a PvE review. And uh, well, he has no place in the Rebellion League for a squad battle. So. That pretty much leave us there. But anyway, before we get into that, guys, let's take a quick look at the sponsor of this video. Check the link in the description and find your favorite hoodies and tees now. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is uh, the optimal team for this fella. He has his own leadership, so... You're going to put him as a leader, 60% increase lightning damage. Then you want to use him with the Philavel because Philavel uh, passive ability, uh, tier 2 passive, applied to all universal uh, type, 30% increase of all attack, 25% skill damage, that something that beta rebuild does not have, and bonus damage by 15%. Another thing that beta rebuild does not have, so she is the best support for him. Then we're going to bring Ghost Panther. We could actually switch Ghost Panther for um, White Fox because uh, beta rebuild has the leadership ability, but I, I don't want to use White Fox. I want to go with a regular universal team what we will achieve and here you can see 45 percent increased damage done to super villain type character so this is the team we're going to use now if we look at the stats on this fella with this team we have max critical down maxing or defense max dodge max critical damage over the cap critical rate because you only need 35 percent on this fella he gets 40 percent from his fourth skill 125 percent attack speed you only need 124 percent attack speed because he gets six percent from his fourth skill so we're doing pretty solid here we have 28,400 101 energy attack 93 percent lightning damage you can see here he has the leadership ability which allows you to actually use white fox with him which we are not doing we are not going to do it that guys uh, if we look at the Euro here, we have regular mythical Euro and legendary Euro, Euro pretty much everywhere. No blessing. Gear 25, so you can see here, uh, 8 energy attack, uh, 3 attack speed, 2 cooldown, 4 critical damage, and uh, that is pretty much it. We covered them all. Oh, 5 critical damage, my bad. 6 critical damage, there you go. So those are the Euro we have on this, guys. Evil set, we have a fully awakened power of angry oak evil set, so we get 8.5% all attack, all defense. Critical rate, ignore defense, 8.1%, attack speed, 7.7%, with a 40% increase of all damage proc uh, on the Evil set. If we look at the custom gear, we have a CTP of rage, 27.7%. Critical rate 26.3% dodge rate and the max stats which is 0.9% per 1% dodge rate and critical rate and in your boss damage decrease by 60%. He does not have a uniform and if we look at the skills guys, well, first we're going to look at the tier 2 passive. Tier 2 passive gives you 30% lightning damage and 20% in your defense. So really, really easy to actually cap in your defense with him. Tier 1 passive is pretty much... Uh, instead of getting a revival, uh, when you drop below 45% HP, you actually get 50% HP, a recovery of max HP, which is actually pretty great. Is leadership, we already covered that, and is a tier 2.5 skill, this awakening skill, you can see there's a lot going on. Uh, once you get into this here, he has paralysis that works against wall boss ultimate. Defense down, a uh, lightning resistance up to 50% work on wall boss ultimate. Critical rate, which we don't need. Critical damage, which we don't need. In your dodge rate, 70%. Actually, pretty great against Carver's Glaive. Invincibility for 10 seconds. Remove all debuff for 10 seconds. And accumulate damage uh, damage 
based on accumulated the two true damage based on damage dealt to enemies so it's actually uh pretty great and also you get a increase of 50 percent of all attack and all defense for 40 seconds that is crazy that is a crazy guy a big question though is does that increase the art that actually stack with the fourth skill because you can see here the fourth skill it gets 40 percent increase of all attack and defense so what we're going to do here guys we're going to go in preview skills real real fast and we're going to take a look at this so we're going to pop that and you can see here now we don't have the skill upgraded so we get 40 percent now and if we press the fourth skill you can see we get a 25 percent so they do stack together so I wanted to cover that real fast. So people who wonder if they stack, they stack. So basically you get 50% plus 40%. So it is a total of 90% increase of all attack. That is just ridiculous. Now with the other skills, what do we get? So we get the fourth skill, which is going to give 6% speed, 40% critical rate, 40% all attack, lightning resistance down up to 100%. That is crazy. And the fourth skill in my opinion is the skill that does the most damage so this is the skill you want to finish for proc on then you have the fifth skill fifth skill will apply defense down invincibility and lightning resistance down to 100 percent and paralyzes for two seconds so you want to use the fifth skill cancel into the fourth skill uh, at that point but before you use those you want to use the third skill uh, third skill will give you immunity to all damage we can finish with the third skill after that actually yeah actually worked like that so you could go five cancel four when the four is over you're gonna do three two two here and the one that's kind of my rotation here and you want to use that tier 2.5 skills before you trigger the proc like two seconds before the proc is triggered so you get the proc you know the proc get activated by that skill and do a lot of damage from it anyway that's pretty much how i see it we're gonna jump in the wall boss ultimate now guys we're gonna actually test that rotation and by the way guys as always if you have tested different rotation that works better make sure to let me know in the comment section guys i am always open to become better better at this game with every single character so let's jump in the wall boss ultimate we have training mode available we're gonna start with a body mod here well let's just pop this at stage 99 and test this out and see how this is how this is gonna go i haven't tested him yet so <laughs> probably not gonna happen without practicing uh, practicing i can not say that word without training a little bit but we're still ge gonna give it a little try uh what 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 no I, I don't remember what they give here i don't like these two here definitely not let's see what we got we got that and we got that i like that better that's my favorite setup for uh, strikers when you don't need defense down uh, definitely so let's go in there like here we're gonna start with the tier 2.5 skills because uh, the proc is not activated yet so we're gonna activate the proc and we're actually gonna test if we can cancel that uh, six skills too that's gonna be very interesting to see if we can cancel it and get the full damage so we're gonna start with that when the proc activate we're gonna do that here you let the the third skill finish and then you go back with that well apparently the fifth skill did not go this time so i kind of screw up my rotation but it is doing pretty good The nice thing is with the third skill, not the third skill, the fifth skill, uh, you can actually cancel it, which is very nice here. I feel like I'm playing this like shit, to be honest. And we're getting canceled a lot too, which is not perfect. But I'm still trying to figure out the perfect rotation here. So let's go with that. We're gonna 5, 4, a 5, 3, tier 2.5 here. I'm gonna let it go. 
And okay, we get that. So I'm trying to figure out uh, if an actual rotation that's better here. The damage is decent. Obviously, if I add a better run, uh, better <laughs> rotation, I think uh, we will probably be doing much better here. Okay, we're gonna let that skill finish. I wanna see what kind of damage we get at the end of this one. And the fourth skill get cancelled. That's the part I don't like against the Bonima. Is that you get cancelled so much. If you get cancelled on the wrong skill, that pretty much just ruins your run. Which is very annoying. So, here it doesn't seem that we're gonna be able to do a stage 99, to be honest. But with the build we have, with the shitty way we've been playing him, we could still be doing a stage 90 very, very, very easy. So that is pretty damn nice. Also, the other thing we could actually test out. Actually, I want to test it out. I want to see if we can actually bring Weapon X with him and actually uh, increase his score. So, well, make him clear faster. I obviously gotta get better at this rotation, but uh, I'm pretty sure we can actually it can actually help. Uh, it cannot hurt, definitely cannot hurt. So we're gonna go with that. After we're done here, we're gonna jump uh, against Carver's Glaze. I want to test him against Carver's Glaze because of uh, the ignore dodge he gets from his uh, his six skills. Then we're gonna go in the Lance Battle stream after that. This is the gameplay we're gonna be testing here. And as always, guys, I repeat myself, but. If you um, if you have any better rotation for me, make sure to share it in the comment section. I feel like I kind of wasted the first tier 2.5 here. I think I should get my rotation rolling before we do that, and it looks like we're getting actually getting less damage. Maybe I'm just having a shitty run. Let's restart that just to make sure. Because I was doing better in the previous run. But I think if you bring defense down striker, you actually get a lesser run in my opinion. And if we add White Fox over uh, Ghost Panther, we'll be doing more damage too. So maybe that little difference could allow us to do stage 99 with him. But still, you can see very, very amazing damage here. Okay, let's go with that here. I know I should be using that four skill with the proc though. I should be able to reset the proc here. We're actually doing better than the uh the other runs we did, so that's not so bad. But again, it's really about if you wow, we just got one shot. <laughs> Getting cancelled on that shit is very, very difficult. So uh, let's do a stage 90 with my new bass today. <laughs> let's do a stage 90 with my new bass, and uh, let's get that done very, very easy. Watch me die again. Just by getting one shot by the guy, that would be funny. Now, if you actually do his skills properly, I think we can actually do a good job. And we're also going to be using uh, the six skills after we have all that lightning resist going on, so we don't get screwed with that. You know, we don't lose damage pretty much. That's what I want to do here. You can see on the stage 90, we're doing a lot more damage. Not sure the fourth skill is the way to go, though. 
I mean, for the damage proc. You can see we're destroying this stage here. So stage 90 is very, very easy for him. Chest to the right in there. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> hey, when they pump that right on top of your ass, man, it's so annoying. So we can definitely do a, a stage 90 here without a single doubt. But I will not recommend to bring Weapon X. Weapon X is actually uh, <clears throat> reducing the amount of damage I'm doing here. At least that's how I feel. got cut by that again i hate that part <laughs> if you're in that position you cannot catch up to him but anyway you see the damage here guys that is actually what's important in this video is to actually see the damage the damage is actually pretty damn great to be honest uh the other one we're gonna test here is carver's glaive uh we're gonna go with the exact same team here so universal we got this guy that and that so this is the team we're gonna be going with uh we only need like one defense uh one in dodge striker here so uh we're gonna bring something uh powerful here like that that should be uh good enough so that pretty much when we're gonna have the in dodge from uh in or well in or dodge buff from the actual uh six skills with that striker is going to be up to 90% in your dodge so i think that's going to be good enough for him but we're going to have to wait and see and i want to see also if he can actually survive uh without the debuff removal on here and uh well i pretty much answered my question <laughs> oh boy he is very squishy i think that's one of the things though Oh, sorry guys, we crash. Let's reopen that real fast. He is very squishy. One hit, boom, boom, he's dead. Honestly, I will expect better than the for a universal uh, type character, to be honest. But uh, that is what it is. Uh, this they seems to be releasing a lot of those characters that are very strong lately, but uh, survivability wise, they are lacking a little bit. I don't know why I just press a pick quest, but. Uh, Let's go back in the wall boss ultimate here. We were trying this one. Stage 90. 
they save it all fully yet they did so let's go again with that and see but yes they are being uh, they are making a lot more glass cannon than before uh, so it's really about you have to execute perfect rotation and not actually get it or you're pretty much dead uh, It seems to be a really huge pattern lately in the characters like uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider is the perfect example amazing damage Amazing gameplay, but if you get it you are in big trouble Oh great, we got that uh, That's kill cancel that was nice. But we did not really get to see the full benefit of it, to be honest. And I have to do that again. Okay, here we go. I'm not really impressed right now here against Corvus. I was expecting, I guess I was expecting a little bit better, but they definitely can do a stage of 80 against Corvus, which is uh, not bad at all. That's not light to herself. It is not bad. Oh, we got actually a good spike here. That was pretty great. Oh, and now we got, uh, I, I thought we actually canceled that skill, so that was my bad. But anyway, you know, that is the point of this video is to actually see the amount of damage you can actually do against those wall boss ultimates. So it's not about clearing them. We're not doing like, hey, it is a wall boss ultimate clear video. People watching this expecting that, that's just not going to happen. So this is what we're doing guys we are testing this out to see the outcome of those testing to see where i actually stand with uh you know without blessing without anything like that today apparently you know you expect somebody with forty thousand crystal light juggling to give us some blessings but uh <laughs> i'm just messing around guys okay so here we're gonna uh, attack boom we got Cosmic Ghost Rider. Oh, it feels like that's a perfect thing for that. Kind of, I want to see what kind of damage is going to do in the stage 90 against Cole, uh, too, because that's uh, very important. Cole has high resistance about, uh, against elemental damage, so I'm not expecting anything crazy here, uh, to be totally honest. I don't think that's going to be a clear on the stage 90, obviously. Yeah, you can see the damage is very, very, very low. And that is just because Cole has a really amazing resistance uh, against elemental damage. That is literally why it is like that. So you can see. Uh, and a lightning resist. So that's like, I want to actually see. How many stack we're gonna get just for using that skill up? We got it, it gets removed right away. That was annoying. So, stack 25 times, so you get the 100% here. Okay, that's uh, it's actually not bad. So you get the 100%, so that is pretty great. Okay, next we're going to be jumping in Lance Ball Extreme, guys. Because some people want to see what they can do with him in Lance Ball Extreme. Uh, you will not be able to cancel the war with him, so forget about being able to cap. Uh, but you should be able to get some decent results still. And we're going to go with uh, the optimal team here. So we're going to drop White Fox in this team. And Philavel. This is the team we're going to go with. Uh, because normally I'll use Ghost Panther, but I'm gonna use White Fox here because we gotta counter the um, the barrier we're actually facing today. Since this guy does not have any Pierce damage, so that's very important to test him uh, with something that will be equivalent. So uh, personally, if I can reach a 3.5 million here on this fight, I'll actually be pretty happy to be honest. So that's kind of the objective we want to achieve here about 
3.5 million. Damage is actually pretty decent so far. This prog does no want to activate now. <laughs> yeah, I try to wait, wait, and wait and use other skills to trigger it, but it did not want to trigger it, man. Actually, going pretty well. Again, a prog that does not want to activate. That's always pretty annoying. But we're gonna get a 3.5 million pretty easy still, so it is pretty decent. So for people hunting for like the 1 million rewards, uh, that's gonna actually be very, very easy for those people. Uh, I think up to like 2, 3 million rewards, that's actually gonna be pretty easy. But so this is actually pretty great. We're gonna be close to 4 million. That is pretty awesome considering we don't have a silence on this guy. If we did have a silence on this guy, it will clear uh, 7 million very, very, very easy, to be honest. So 3.92 million, uh, 3.9 millions, let's say it like that. That is actually pretty solid for a non-silenced character. So overall, this character is a very, very solid character for Wall Boss Ultimate. Again, guys, I probably don't have the proper rotation for him. Uh, so it can probably do much better than I'm actually showing in this video. I just want to make this clear, guys. We're just taking a global look at the character with those PvE, re PvE review. It's not about the best way to optimize this character in, in, in the gameplay yet that we're gonna have future video showcasing that today is about testing him out globally uh, and see what it can actually do which you know most people are not gonna be using optimized rotation because a lot of people are just gonna be jumping in there and smashing some buttons and not you know paying too much attention to that so that's kind of what we do in those videos just want to make that clear because uh, some people in the, re in the recent review are like man you're not using the proper rotation well no i am not and that is the point of those video we're taking a look at how we can actually build the characters how we can actually prioritize and test uh the rotation on the becoming a better rotation like Event for Lance Bow Extreme, there's characters like, for example, Namer in Lance Bow Extreme. People been playing Namer for like a year, and they are still developing a better rotation on a daily basis. So it's it's really about a 
becoming better every day and every day with a character so obviously when we start those review we don't know that much about the characters we don't know how to play that characters properly yeah it's literally my first time playing him with the ctp of rage and awakening skills so obviously i do not know how to play him perfectly not yet it will come eventually, but not yet. Anyway, guys, uh, hopefully you had a good time on this video. Um, give me a sec here. There we go. I just want to put that at the bottom of the stream. Uh, the, the, the video, we stream Monday through Saturday, 7 p.m. Pacific time on Twitch.tv. Link in the description down below, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like on this video. And hopefully, guys, I get to see you all again in the next video. Thank you.